The Young Turks brought to you by Carbonite Online Backup. Get a free trial at Carbonite.com by using the promo code TYT and you also get two months free if you decide to buy. 7,000 votes in Wisconsin all of a sudden showed up. Hey, look at this. Hey, look at this. I found my iPhone. Holy crap, 7,000 votes under this piece of paper. And all of a sudden, the conservative judge is in the lead in Wisconsin, and so much so is he in the lead that there may not even be a recount. So uh, the uh, woman counting the vote there was uh, Waukesha County Clerk uh, Kathy Nicholas announced at 5.30 p.m. yesterday in a press conference, sounding nervous as she made the announcement, uh, that she had uh, recanvassed, and it turned out there were about, uh, what is it, about 14,000 votes that she stumbled across. Uh, and, uh, and that caused a 7,500 vote swing in favor of David Prosser, the conservative who's expected to back Scott Walker on the state Supreme Court, which would support his union busting law, uh, and not Joanne Kloppenberg, who, we appear, who appeared had uh, won the race or was narrowly ahead. There was going to be a recount, but she appeared to have a couple hundred vote lead. So now we're at the point where his lead has turned into what? We're at about a 7,000 vote lead for David Prosser, and that would be more than needs for a recount. Democrats crying foul. It seems ridiculous that we would all of a sudden find 7,000 votes. Republicans who say, oh, no, no, look, all the time, don't worry about it. Uh, there's no chance. She probably just uh, made a mistake. Uh, Republican State Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald, who we came to know and loathe uh, during the uh, walkout by the 14 Democratic senators, he says that uh, Nicholas probably just uh, made a mistake. Kathy Nicholas just made a mistake. It's no, it's no big deal. He says the canvas process in Wisconsin, it's, it's pretty routine. Uh, after an election happens, and, and in many cases that he's been involved in over the years, certainly changes to the vote totals come in on election night. And then I love this. He noted that in Grant County, for example, uh, more than 100 votes were added for challenger Joanne Kloppenberg after that initial count. 100 votes. Uh, and then in Waukesha County, they found 7,000 votes. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, so uh, it's no big deal. Sometimes you just find money. I was looking through my couch and I found uh, 85 cents. And, and then later, I was looking through your wallet and I found $8,000. Look, sometimes you just find money, man. It's no big deal. Come on. How come Democrats never find 7,500 votes? Seriously, how come we never find 7,500 votes? Ever. In, the hist in, in history, well, not in history. <laughs> not in West Virginia in 1960. But basically, in modern history, how come we never find these votes? <sighs> come on, man. Eventually, you're going to have a computer disaster, your computer is going to crash, and you're going to lose all your files. But with Carbonite Online Backup, you don't have to worry about any of that because it automatically saves your files off-site. You can access all of your backed up files from any computer remotely, or if you want, you can also access your files through an iPhone or Blackberry with Carbonite's awesome free app. Carbonite costs just $55 a year for unlimited backup for your PC or Mac. Think about it, that's less than $5 a month. Get a free trial at Carbonite.com by using the promo code TYT and you also get two months free if you decide to buy.